In this video, I want to show you the book that established the standard for the study of logic. And this is a book which is extremely famous and extremely old. This book was published in 1847. So my copy of this book is in pretty bad shape. This book is called Formal Logic, and this is the book that was written by Augustus de Morgan. So my copy is actually missing the cover. Well, I have the cover, but watch this. It basically comes off. So that's how old this book is. And I'm pretty sure this book is fairly expensive. So the only way I was able to get this book <laughs> was to buy a copy that is literally falling apart. There is some writing here. You see this belonged to Dr. Sidney Ross of the Rensselaer Polytech Institute, New York. So Dr. Sidney Ross was a chemist and a bibliophile. So he collected books and he died at the age of 98 in 2013. Here's some writing on the inside cover. And here you see the name of the book, Formal Logic or the Calculus of Inference, Necessary and Probable by Augustus de Morgan of Trinity College, Cambridge, fellow of the Cambridge Philosophical Society, secretary of the Royal Astronomical Society, professor of mathematics in University College London. One of the problems with my specific copy of this book is that when I open it, I feel like it's going to fall apart. So I have to be very, very careful when I handle this book. For example, if I open it like this, I hear cracking and I'm just worried that the book is going to fall apart as it already has started to fall apart. This is the preface and I'll just talk a little bit about De Morgan. So De Morgan was a mathematician. He was born in India. His father was actually born in India and so was his grandfather and he moved to England about seven months after being born. And he actually went blind in one eye about a month or two after being born. Just some random facts about Augustus. And he pretty much um, set the standard for formal logic. He was the first one to uh, write a book on formal logic and formalize it the way he did. He also helped establish um, mathematical induction. He was the first person to ever really you know, coin the term induction. He's also, of course, known for De Morgan's Law. Here's a small example in the book. It says, thus, instead of all men will die, write every y is x. All men are rational beings, every y is z. Therefore, some rational beings will die. Therefore, some z's are x's. The second of these is the same proposition, logically considered as the first. By the way, if you're wondering about the f's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's uh, called a long s. You can do some reading into that if you're curious. It's a very, very peculiar uh, thing. Here you see another you know, sentence. It's just a very, very strange uh, letter that is no longer used. So I did some research on that and I found all kinds of information on it, but I'm pretty sure it's called a long S. The organization of the content is pretty intense. So chapter one, first notions, and he's got like a million subsections here. Then same thing on chapter two. Let me just show you what it looks like. Of course, this is the De Morgan known for De Morgan's laws. So if you've taken a class on logic or on discrete math, you've studied De Morgan's laws. And this is the same person. This is the guy who actually invented De Morgan's laws. So pretty interesting, really quite interesting. And this book is pretty much uh, a collectible. Um, again, my copy is falling apart. And that's because when I went to buy this book, uh, the other copies were very expensive. And so this was like the most affordable one. But you can probably get this book, uh, like a newer copy, uh, for much less. My copy smells super old. I'm just gonna give it a whiff. Yeah, it's just a very, very old book. You can see the yellowing in the pages here. I mean, this is, uh, you know, an ancient book. One of the big problems with my copy of this book, besides that the cover is completely torn off, is it's very hard to open and read this book because it feels like the pages are almost like stuck together. So if I take the book and, and I open it, I feel like there's like cracking here. I feel like a, I hear like a sound. So I'm a little bit paranoid about my copy. Um, so that's, I think, the biggest downside uh, of this book for me. Now, I'm pretty sure you can get this book and there are reprints available. So what I will do is after I make this video and before I post it, I will go online and I will try to find a link in case you're curious about this book, um, in case you do want to get a copy of this classic. Again, this is considered um, you know, a classic work. This is the first book that really established a standard for formal logic. And De Morgan was really 
you know, the first person to really write about, you know, mathematical induction. So De Morgan's laws uh, are because of him. One of the things that makes this book a little challenging to read is the long S. It's that funny uh, F symbol that is apparently called the long S. So it makes it a little bit hard to read, but you do get used to it. For example, there's the word premises, but that's, it looks like an F, but it's really not. So this is a video that I almost didn't make because of the condition of my copy of this book. It's really, really fragile. And again, this is a really old book and it's probably quite expensive if you try to find one um, that is, you know, from this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to open the back here and just to show you some of the stuff in the back. And for the rest of this video, um, I have my camera on a tripod here so I can use both hands to, to handle this book because again, it's very, very fragile and very old. And it's one of the oldest uh, math books I have. So let me just come back here to show you. So there's something really funny at the end here. Uh, it actually says the end. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then over here, um, it appears that there's, you know, some other books. It says Walton Maberly's Catalog of Educational Works and Works in Science and General Literature. So there's some English books, uh, a book on, on Greek, the Englishman's Greek Concordance of the New Testament. Interesting. Yeah, very cool. Really old stuff. You know, this was from a different time, right, from a different time. Yeah, it looks like more language books, history, mythology, and antiquities. Let's turn the page here. Pages are very fragile. Pure mathematics, De Morgan's elements of arithmetic, De Morgan's trigonometry and double algebra, Ellenberger's course of arithmetic as taught in the Pestalozian school workshop. workshop. It's missing an H there. Yeah, Mason's first book of Euclid. It's got mixed mathematics, natural philosophy, astronomy. Really quite interesting. These old books are fun. You know, you never know what you'll find inside them. Unfortunately, in this one, I didn't really find like, you know, any old papers or anything like that. Yeah. And again, this came from, uh, well, this was owned uh, by um, the person who owned this book before or at some point at least, Dr. Sidney Ross. And he, again, he was a chemist at, I don't know if you can read it, Rensselaer Polytech Institute, Troy, New York. And he was a bibliophile. Looks like someone signed that July, 1939. Kind of interesting. Whoops, musical gift from an old friend singing. Hmm. So, and you can see my back cover is about to fall off. That's why I thought, you know, I should just be really careful with this book. So just a really interesting book. I thought I would make a, a short video just to show you this book. It's the one by De Morgan and it is Formal Logic. And my copy is literally falling apart, but I'll try to leave a link to uh, like a reprint or something in case you want to pick it up. Uh, might be an interesting book to read. You know, it's, they always say, when you're trying to learn uh, a subject, you should you should read the masters, right? You should read De Morgan, you should read Euclid. Um, that's just an opinion, but um, I, I think it can't hurt. Usually when a new idea is presented uh, by someone like this, this was a new idea at the time. This was, again, the book that really changed the world. It established the standard for formal logic. It's worth at least checking out. So yeah, pretty interesting. I hope this video has been enjoyable. Good luck.